I want to talk a little bit about you and your dad, how you had this like resentment for him for a long time. And you talk about this time when you were 15 and you finally meet your dad and you have it out with him. Later, you you kind of broke down and you said, I hate coming here. You You wrote one sentence in the book, which obviously is going to be my favorite sentence of all time. When you had finished your visit with your father after you told him that you hated coming there, you wrote, our visit was over. When we got up to leave, I put my palm against the class. He mirrored. And for a moment, I felt like there was a connection. I looked at him and he looked at me. I can't really put into words the spark that I felt. It was a sense that we'd be okay. And the sentence that is my favorite in the book is, everything would be okay. This is the egg buck mindset that I talk about in my book, which is, you know, it may not be okay right now. It may not have been okay that day that you went and visited your dad and you realized like, wow, this, this sucks. He's in jail, he's behind this wall. I can't even touch him. You know, everything's gonna be okay despite what, how the life would pan out after that moment. So if it didn't work out in my favor, everything's still gonna be okay. If it worked out the way that I envisioned, then perfect. And if it didn't, then, everything will be okay, right? You knew in your gut, you had this innate sense that there was purpose to every part of your story, even the parts that you just hated. Um, in the book, I talk about kind of burning down the house, this, you know, metaphorical house that I'm living in and setting house in blaze and moving on. And it wasn't until a friend of mine, I think a, a best friend actually, she asked me one of the most powerful questions ever. And Tony, like, I know you don't have a relationship with your dad, but if your dad was to pass away today, tomorrow, next week, would you be okay? Would you be able to continue living the rest of your life and going on? I took a deep breath. I said, yes. I would. Because I've done all that I can to try to fix men, whatever piece of the relationship I thought that we had. And I refused to allow myself to keep getting hurt at the end of it, dealing with my father's incarceration, knowing that my path and my journey was not going to be the same solely because I was named after him. Essentially, everything is going to be okay is really a decision. It's a choice. It's a choice and you made that choice. And I said, Tony, at some point, you have to realize everything is gonna be okay. Catch the Nurture series, the Egg Bock Edition with Tony Shavers III on Spotify or iTunes today.